Welcome back everybody. Remember this video where a frauditor was harassing employees and customers of a dispensary and then one of the employees decided to manhandle the frauditor a little bit? Well, it turns out there's an update because now the frauditor is whining that the employee didn't get arrested. He tried to frame the employee and so far he failed. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. That way you never miss another video. We are 35,000 strong and growing every single day. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. What's up YouTube? Uh, on the 14th, I was assaulted filming a dispensary and the police took a report and uh, she had the cop that came reported that showed up had uh, video evidence of the assault and uh, a signed police report and an admission by the guy that did it. And so uh, I just called the prosecutor's office and it's been over a week. It's been on nine days and she still hasn't filed the report. So let's call the Hollister cops and see what's up. Yes, ma'am. My name's Jimmy, and I was assaulted on the 14th in front of the Swin Dispensary. And Officer Douglas reported, and she uh, took my report, and she had video evidence. So for those who aren't familiar with what happened, this guy was creeping out all the customers. He was standing there for about 45 minutes. It was a very long fraud. It. And then the employees kept telling him to leave. And he wasn't technically on the sidewalk because it's a strip mall. Malls are private property. So maybe they could have went that route, but it went a different route. And then the frauditor got a little bit roughed up and now he's in his feelings. And an admission by the guy that assaulted me. And she said she was going to turn the report into the prosecutor. I was wanting to know when, how that's ha coming along and when the guy's court date's going to be. Because I'd like to be there. Okay, can you put me through to them? Unfortunately, I can't because they're in another town, but I can give you their phone number. Okay. It's 417? Yes, ma'am. 334? Yes, ma'am. 6565 and select option number 2 for administration and then listen for the prompt for records. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good day. Try this again. You have reached the Hollister Police. If you know your party's extension, dial it now. To speak with records, Joanna Tate, press 1. To speak with records. Hollister Police, this is Records. Hi, uh, my name's Jimmy, and I was assaulted in Hollister on the 14th. Do you know who I am? Yes. Uh, I was w wondering how that case was coming along. I talked to the prosecutor, and he said that uh, Officer Douglas hasn't filed the report yet. I don't believe I have that report completed yet. Let me put you on hold and double-check. Let me pull the case number in lunch. Okay, thank you. Been nine days.
Okay, who who gets to approve this? Supervisor, which would be Sergeant Swanson. Sergeant Swanson, is he in? He is not in today. Uh, that squad is off. I can send you to his voicemail or give you his email address. Um, when will he be back? I'd like to just talk I to him. Sunday. Sunday. Is when he works. Oh, okay. So I have to wait another three days to get my to get justice. Well, if JC News now tried to learn a little bit more about the law, he would know that the wheels of justice turn very slowly, and I don't think he'll be getting any of the justice he thinks he deserves. Matter of fact, I think the justice has already been delivered when the employee went hands-on with him. And I wanted to show you guys this guy's channel because it's very sad. He's been at it for a year, so not too long, but he posted over 600 videos and only has a little bit above 2,000 subscribers. And that is incredibly sad because being a frauditor is probably the easiest thing to do. It's one of the easiest genre of channel to grow on YouTube. All you have to do is to be a complete asshole and you will get subscribers. So the fact that he's obviously in his 40s or 50s and he failed at life and he's failing at frauditing, it really tells a lot about this guy. I mean, I, I'm not sure how long it'll take for that report to be completed and given to him to be approved. So I'm not in, sure on the timeline. But again, I can send you to his voicemail or I can give you... Um, his email address if you want to follow up with him on the timeline of that. Sure, what's what's his email address? His email address is C Swanson. Swanson's S W A N S O N okay. uh, Hollister Mo Gov. Okay, what's the first initial? C is in Charlie. Chad. Chad. Okay, uh, and he has a phone number? Um, I can send you to his extension. His extension number is 1230. 1230, okay. And uh, one more question. What it would happen if I assaulted that guy? Would it take 10 days to, for him to get justice? The timeline on police reports, I don't really have because it just is a matter of that officer completing the report and then again how long it takes for that supervisor to approve before I get it so there isn't a designated time frame that I know of for specific reports I see I see all right and and you're Joanna yes all right thanks Joanna you've been very helpful I appreciate you thank you have a good day you too All right, I guess Hollister police gets to operate at their own speed. I'm curious what would happen if I would have assaulted that guy, how fast it would have happened. I'd be in jail. We all know this. They don't like people with cameras for some reason. We'll see how it goes. We'll give Mr. Swanson a... You've got his uh, email now. You can uh, redress him through that. You can let him know how we feel about uh, dereliction of duty, not doing your duty. You know, he's a supervisor. He's supposed to take care of these things. Anyway, this is how government works around here. The government. I uh, hope everybody has a great day. And with that, peace. This video just proves what we knew all along. That the frauditor's purpose and their only goal in life is to get regular hardworking citizens fired and arrested. That is their main objective. And that's why they are pieces of shit. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you enjoy this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy my other channel, Josh Prime. On that channel, I cover drunk drivers, idiots, Karens, all sorts of criminals. So I'll see you there. The link is in the description. I live here!